Good morning. I forgot to take you out last night when I locked up all the animals and checked on New York City and the new chicken guard automatic chicken door. It worked awesome, guys. Ah, I forgot to bring the camera out, sorry. This cold or allergies, whatever it is that I got, it's kicking my butt. <laughs> um, the door was closed up and the chickens were all inside. Worked perfect. Oh, curious to see how it works this morning. I forget what time we set it for. So, if you remember, leave it in the comments, because I don't. Okay, the new rooster learning how to crow too. I can't wait till they start laying eggs, y'all. Not quite as cold this morning as it has been. 39 degrees, not 32. <laughs> Yesterday we had a fierce frost. I shut the milking room window and door last night, so it should be nice in here. Ah, it is pretty warm in here, guys. Where, oh, where is my light? Oh, here, oh, here it is. Where'd you go? You checking out the workshop? Huh? You checking out the workshop, girl? You're silly. Fall is here. What time of the year does fall come where you live? weather reports and they're calling for a long harsh winter for our area again this year like we had last winter. A lot of the reasons we're going through all the extremes of building the barn and insulating it is because the winter we had last winter and I know how harsh and long it was so I'm trying to make the workshop and the barn work for those kind of winters. What's your favorite part about fall? Growing up as a kid, I used to love going apple picking. And then at the apple orchard, they used to make homemade apple cider donuts. Ah, oh, memories, guys, memories. So good. Hopefully we can get out and do some apple picking this year. Thank you, Willow. You ready? She's like, of course I'm ready. Hey, let's go into the barn, not the workshop. There you go. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh, Blossom, you cracked me up. It's where you're waiting for me every morning. Good morning, Hope. Every morning you're waiting for us, huh? Come on to you too, Hope. Go be free, Hope. Explore the new pasture. Be out in a minute. We're gonna work on the boys' new fenced in area. You're hiding in the corner. You're not supposed to poop on your bed. You're supposed to poop down here before you go to bed and then get up there and no pooping. Okay? They're like, yeah, no. We're goats. We poop whenever we want, wherever we want. That's what goats do. Like that. If goats could control when and where they pooped, there'd be indoor goats for pets. I think that's what stops people from bringing them in their house. Like, they have no control over when they poop or pee. I don't know if you can see from here, but the chicken guard door is still down. I think it should be opening in like 15 minutes. If I planned it correctly, it should be when we're out doing the chores that the door opens. I better get the milk cleaned up and get up there. I just checked the time. I'm running late this morning. I better get out, feed the chickens, and watch the door open. We have like three minutes before the door goes up. I 
The goat's like, what are those crazy dogs doing? That should be going up any minute. Any minute. Good morning, chickens. Good morning, ladies. How do you like that new chicken door? <laughs> I can get used to that, guys. It's gonna be nice, especially this time of the year with the critters starting to come out, knowing that the chickens will be locked up and that door will be locked at night when it gets dark. And if I come out, I'm always gonna come out and check on the chickens because we're locking up the goats. So if I can come check on it and the door's already shut, I don't gotta worry about skunks or fox getting in the coop. When I get it when it when it's dark out. They love that spot over there by the rocks and the apple trees. Oh there they go eating apples. Don't eat too many apples, I know what it does to me. You girls like the rock too. I like seeing you up this end of the pasture now. So we're working on a new fenced in area for the goats. It's 32, I think by 36. We're gonna get this area hopefully done today. We need to put some two by fours going up top from post to post. Our ground is super rocky, so not all the posts were able to go in as much as we would have liked. So for pulling the wire tight, they could move. So we just need to secure that a little bit. Then we gotta get the gate. And then we gotta make, it won't happen today, but we need to make a small like breeding pen out front. Plan on taking out the front. Right, we're gonna undo the, the front fence was actually, the whole, right from the beginning was made to be temporary because we knew we were gonna need to do something different. If you look at the front gate and the post, it's got a two by going across it. That was to hold it all in because we hit a rock and we couldn't get the post any deeper, so it actually lasted longer than I thought it would, which is good. Alright, you want to grab your end and set it up on top of the clamp? Bamba lamb. I like it. And the next one will have to come a little lower and vice versa so we can screw into them. If that makes sense. But that'll tie all the posts together so they can't move. What's that? Picky bush too, yeah, they are picky it. bushes. Alright, let's get another measurement and I'll get the next one made. If I go one, if I go one thirty-six, that'll be tight. I like it. Uh. I think it'll be nice having the boys on the back side. It'll keep them further away from the girls because that fenced in area is going to get taken care of and not being used all the time so what a difference a fresh battery does works wonders
lock right there, we can set it. need to stop this video right here and explain something to you because I'm missing the video footage I don't know what happened but there's this post right here that the Kubota is hooked to it is probably six or eight inches out of plumb and I need to straighten it out otherwise it would drive me bonkers that it's not straight and it's a post we're gonna be hanging a gate on all right I'm gonna try to pull that pole straight and I'm hoping we can do it with the Kubota and then Telephone pole. Oh, it nearly hurt. Oh, the second one. And then be able to use a telephone pole and keep it straight. That's the goal for today. straighter than the green one. So now we just gotta figure out the distance from there to there to get it to stay straight. And then I might have to get a bag of concrete and put concrete in that hole because it's still loose this way. But it's a lot better. So it's straight this way, but it's gotta go that way quite a bit now because the tractor can't pull that way. It's pulling it this way. So I need to do that too. Ugh. You need to get it by another tractor. I need another tractor. Yeah, My building's in the way. Huh? My building's in the way. Down here to the bottom. Because this one we're going to do at an angle. Telephone pole. How are we gonna get to the staff? I think big. We'll get it. Yeah. I think it'll be easier for us to put it in at an angle. So well, what if we do 234. Now I need another tractor to bring over the telephone pole. Oh. I couldn't bring it over earlier because I didn't know how long it needed to cut it at. Not long enough.
234. It's right there. This telephone pole was in that pasture last year that I cut out or ripped out. I don't know why it was there. Yep. So yeah, I'll have to unhook the tractor from the pole, drag the telephone pole over there, then straighten that pole back out. <laughs> and I'll want to keep the pole this way more after. Maybe we can wedge a piece of wood on that side too before we pull, I bet you. to bring the tractor in there because I'm afraid I'll get stuck with everything. I think we gotta find a piece of wood to wedge in on the back side. A piece of two by pressure treated two by four will wedge in there, and then we'll get this back here lined up.
take your tractor and pull it to where it needs to go and then we put a bungee, not a bungee, but a strap to, with a, like a stake to hold it. I think the length of that is perfect. We just gotta get this post pulled and keep that where it needs to be. That must be like... Maybe the pink ratchet strap will save the day again. Let's find out. See if we can do this. Ooh. That was this. Alright, that's as much as that's gonna go. Where will it let go? No. It just won't pull it any tighter. My angle is not the best. All right, maybe I can get... Oh, we can take this off, because this we don't need this anymore. Unless, yeah, let's do this. What's that? Is it gonna let it... No, it's not gonna. Let's put it down. Can I move the bucket so you stop walking underneath Yeah, I'm just gonna fix something first. Come on, grab, there you go. I'm gonna repos just repositioning this for a minute. Above where we need it. Here, come hold this for a minute. Yeah, you should be good. The only thing I didn't know is if I should try to cut this so that angle matched better. It's just not. What? No? Be done with it. Be done with it? Just put a screw in it? I'm gonna trim that cut up. Gina doesn't know it yet. We use the sawzall. So we got tension on that strap. I'm not gonna use the chainsaw. I do want to try to straighten this cut out. I know you told me not to, but it didn't look pretty. It was, it would have bothered me for the rest of my life.
See, look at that. Now it's a perfect. Did it just because it came out like sawdust? Like, I don't get it. What's that? How did it come out? What do you mean, how did it come out? It was cut. Well, it came out a little bit at a time. I cut the. I just want, I gotta ask your permission first. I said no. I know, but I couldn't leave it. It, would, it wouldn't have worked as good. Doesn't that look so much better? I honestly didn't see it. Oh, you didn't come close enough. All right, so now, let's give the sledge. I think we have one left. We do. Just enough. Bam! That ain't going nowhere, baby. Come on, let's go to the pasture. Not sure if the goats are out, yep. There they are, hanging over there by their apple orchard. I haven't seen any of the goats use the brush yet. What are you doing, Hope? What are you chickens up to? What are you doing, man, huh? What are you doing? Getting out some energy? Huh? You getting out some energy? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Ducks. Guess since I'm the only one home, I get to guess the eggs. I say 16. Might be less. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Hey, not too far off. What are you doing, Hope? Huh? What are you doing? Is that some good grass? Pluto and Tanner, stop. Hey, well, I ain't gonna put up with you. Pretty. We'll see what it tastes like. I'm gonna simmer this for about 20 minutes. It says. Mm -mm.
and Gina doubted that uh, Kubota and a couple of ratchet straps can get the job done. <laughs> Installing a 20 foot long telephone pole. Ah, guys, we got it done. I'm glad we got it done. Nobody got hurt. Nobody pinched any fingers. Ah, feels good. But today is the day my cold is, man, acting up the worst. Ah. Change of seasons, I don't know about y'all, but every time the change of seasons happen, I get a cold, the sniffles, or something. This broccoli and cheddar soup that Gina made is delicious. She got it from the Prairie Homestead Cookbook. There's a link in the video description down below to our Amazon shop, and we have the book listed there. We've been cooking <clears throat> quite a few recipes lately out of that cookbook, and man, they're delicious. We have some homemade crescent rolls that we're eating that we made with her recipe a little while ago. Before we leave, I wanna leave you off with this quote I heard today. It's not the absence of fear, it's overcoming it. Sometimes you've got to bash through it and just have faith. That is so true, guys. You just gotta believe, have faith. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.